Hi there, this is a continuation on this uh, series on Insol's uh, application, again predicting uh, sound insulation. And this is on the Insol version 9, revision 19. And in this uh, revision I will go over the STC calculation for walls, for double panel construction. If you have a panel, uh, double panel construction, uh, you have uh, up here in the selection for the panel tab you select double and then below that you have panel one you have the frame one and panel two so again for panel one and panel two you have up to six layers of different materials so there's layer one layer two layer three the default is that you have one layer selected in layer one and um, in this case uh, this is after the default start so it basically just started with this uh, cement board so let me just change it to gypsum and i'll take a um, half inch type c gypsum board and um, we can take that and if you like you can uh, uh, make the second panel with the same board so you can uh, copy that over so now both panel one and panel two have in layer one have the same half inch gypsum board. Again with the cursor we can go on these panels and get all the material properties for that panel. So these are the same ones. All right. Now what's in between? In between is a frame. When you click on frame we have different frame types. Uh, this is uh, again pre-selected but here under all we can select from all of these different frame types some of them are duplicates uh, have different labels in terms of different uh, languages but here the basic ones are as a timber stud and then for the timber stud we have here the cavity width so this is basically on panel one to panel two what's the cavity between those two and then here we have from a display standpoint the stud width and the stub depth so this is again for display purposes and then here we have the stud spacing the stud spacing is basically the distance from one stud to the next stud the default here is uh, 23.6 inches which is i believe 600 millimeters now inside of the cavity we have down here the absorption and we can uh, select different absorptive materials here so here we have a different selection and for each of them we can uh, set up okay how what's the thickness so in this case the default is is not of course way too big so let's say we put in a three and a half inch um, fiberglass with a uh, density of 1.5 pounds per cubic feet and so here we have our prediction so down here in the bottom right we see the prediction of that SDC we can uh, select that as our uh, comparison so this is our default comparison and let's say default uh, set one and now we can kind of get started and see how we can uh, change this STC and one of the changes we can of course do is uh, we can change the frame type so if we can go from timber stud to staggered stud so that basically means we have now uh, studs that are uh, basically mechanically isolating these two panels. The only mechanical connection that we have for the staggered stud is uh, the connection at the bottom of the wall and at the top of the wall. Basically the panels beside that are mechanically isolated. All right, so let me just go back, uh, change and uh, for whatever reason that didn't take so let's make it set one and oh it's probably we need to turn that on okay so here we have our set one and now we go to staggered stud and you can see by staggering we are changing the resonance frequency of this mass spring mass system uh, this is primarily uh, due to the fact that uh, the spacing is a little bit bigger so the uh, the spacing between the two studs or the two panels panel one and panel two is now instead of uh, four inches is now 5.6 inches 
So that decreases the initial resonance frequency that we have right here at, uh, in this case, at about 61 hertz. Then uh, we have still the same coincidence frequency, but overall that mechanical isolation and the increase in uh, the panel spacing increase the SDC uh, from 42 to 49 decibels by seven points. Then of course uh, we can uh, play around with that. We can also select the timber stud with rail, our resilient rail. So that is about the same as the staggered. Maybe a little bit higher, the higher frequencies, but overall the STC is about the same. Uh, we can do double timber stud. The double timber stud is again um, we have a bigger spacing so again the resonance frequency goes to even lower frequency and in this case the coincidence frequency is still uh, somewhere around at the same frequency about uh, 3 kilohertz so there's a big dip right here but overall the STC goes up to 55 decibels now to uh, improve that uh, further uh, we can do a couple things we can add a second uh, fiberglass in here so here by adding a second layer of fiberglass uh, we add more absorption inside so that uh, brings up another two decibels to STC 57 and then of course uh, to bring up the low end uh, we add we need to add mass to the system so we could do that by, for example, adding additional panels to the layer one. So we add two layers on this side, and then we can do that on the second side too. And then we are all the way up to 71 decibels. Again, this is assuming that we have a completely isolated panels, that we have um, a double stud. And, uh, those are mechanically completely isolated and we have the two layers of Egyptian board on each side and we have two uh, fiber uh, glass uh, battings on both sides of the panel all right and um, we can of course uh, do the same thing also with uh, metal studs so you can also change uh, the metal studs in here staggered metal studs Right, or we can do like um, double steel studs. That's uh, again equivalent to the uh, the timber double studs. And um, yeah, so again up here we have a description of the construction and. Um, here we can look at different categories of uh, the fibers here for manufacture by fiber and then here the, the frame, frame parameters. To save this uh, entire thing we go file and save the wall construction. So here like double panel with double steel stud this is as far as I want to go in this uh, video thank you for listening